It's 38-37 Kansas State up over Oklahoma State. It's the fourth quarter with 5.03 left on the clock. It's going to be first and 10 here. It's been a back and forth game all night. Looks like Whedon's in the shotgun. He's waiting for the snap, takes the snap. Looking for someone open, fires over the middle to Justin Blackman. He's making his way down the field. The 20, the 10, the 5. He's in the end zone. Pistols firing. Oh, my goodness, Heather. That is incredible because this is the first time Oklahoma State has been behind in the second half. And uh, they've been open in the middle all game long. And it looks like, I don't know if the, the quarterback went up with Tracy Bohr or they're, it looked like they were playing man to man defense on Justin Blackman, which just never works. It doesn't. Can't can't cover Blackman. Oh, look behind us. Here, now here's a real now here's a real sportscaster, Dave well, Unsecker. Well, He's the bad. voice of the Cowboys and a sports media instructor. Well, that was pretty. That's pretty good. That's right. Well, this is a uh, another edition of Inside OSU, and we're not just talking about sports. We're talking about sports media. And uh, Heather Geller is a student in sports media, and of course, Dave, as I said, was an instructor. Tell us about the sports media program. Well, it's very exciting. We're one of the first universities in the nation to offer a degree in sports media, and it's, it's a very exciting time. We offer the opportunity for students to learn about play-by-play, -play, television anchoring, public relations, sports reporting from a print standpoint. It's, uh, it's really an innovative and then, program. And this really, uh, we are a leader in this. I mean, we're one of the very first programs to have a, a, a sports media major. Yes, we are. And it allows students to really emphasize the sports piece because it is unique and it's so repetition based in terms of not just the writing component, but for example, the play by play. The more you do it, the better you become. And so we try to offer those real life experiences for the students so that when they leave Oklahoma State, they have a chance to get a good job. Well, Heather, uh, where are you from? I am from Visalia, California. And that's in Central California, yes. there in the Central Plains. Uh -huh. And uh, how did you end up at Oklahoma State University? Well, I transferred here, and the reason why I wanted to transfer here was for the sports to be program. I didn't see that anywhere else with the schools I was looking to transfer to. Well, great. And so you're a senior? Is I am going to be graduating in May. And what do you hope to do in sports media? My dream job would to take would be to take Erin Andrews' job, be a sideline reporter, so she better watch out come May. Tell us about some of the, the curriculum. In my particular course, we do television anchoring, they do radio sportscasts, they do play-by-play -play of OSU football games. They do two of those per year. They do a couple of women's basketball games per year. It's very intensive in terms of teaching and hands-on. And then when, for example, ESPN or ABC comes to town to broadcast an event, they use our students in a variety of support roles to help with the broadcast, giving them exposure to the highest level of television production in America. Have you done any of that, Heather? I have not, but I do his play-by-play -play in his class, which is really exciting. And, and uh, what does he tell you you need to do, you need to work on? Because I thought you were great. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's little things here and there, but like you said, it's repetition-based. Every time I've gone out there and done it, I've gotten better. Well, uh, we're lucky to have somebody with Dave's talent uh, that's available to, to teach our students. You do a wonderful job, and uh, I know you're enjoying it. Our grads are getting jobs, I assume? Yes. Uh, back this past spring, we had one of our graduates land at ESPN in Charlotte. We had another recent graduate land as a sports reporter at uh, an affiliate in Wichita over the air, and they're doing very, very well. Others have moved more into the production side of things. Uh, where they are also doing very, very well. So yes, it's, it's working. We're drawing high caliber students here. They're excelling. And it's, it's really been fun to watch this thing take well, off. With the explosion of video, YouTube, and uh, inter internet streaming and everything, there's just going to be more and more demand for this kind of thing. Oh, yes. Oklahoma State's going to be very involved in it, both as a, as a production content uh, creator uh, as well as a distributor. So. I think you're getting in a very grow, a very lively and robust field, and I congratulate you on that. Thank you. And David, thank you for everything you do for OSU. Uh, that's another edition of Inside OSU, a very special edition, and I think we should close it with your signature phrase. Well, I'd be Not happy to. Not just go Pokes, but <laughs> are we ready? Ready. Pistols, Pistols firing. firing! Touchdown, <laughs> Cowboys! Sports media is a, a growing field, so there's a lot of demand for people in this field. And the reason we chose to have a, a degree program targeted specifically for that is so that we can offer classes that are geared towards uh, the intricacies of the sports media. So we have a, a specialized class in sports writing, 
uh, sports electronic communications and uh, sports production. So this prepares students and they also get actual hands-on experience both in the classroom and labs and also through internships and the work that they do uh, throughout the school year. Our faculty do have uh, professional backgrounds in the sports media. There are two of us who came from the newspaper industry, uh, also have experience with magazines. Uh, we have more than 30 years experience in newspaper sports writing. Uh, one faculty member is sports broadcasting, uh, a lot of experience in that area. Another from uh, sports uh, video production, one of the leading experts in the country. Uh, this not only helps the students get actual experience from people who have worked in the industry, but our faculty members have the contacts in the industry uh, that help students get internships and uh, jobs once, they're, once they have graduated. We also have two uh, clubs specifically uh, geared toward our sports media majors. Uh, we have the sports media club and they do a lot of uh, uh, production work or work uh, on the broadcast, telecasts of uh, football and basketball games. So they're getting hands-on experience there. Uh, we have the first collegiate chapter for Association for Women in Sports Media. And uh, that's a, a very large national organization that's an advocacy organization for women in sports media. So we have quite a few women, about half the majors in the program actually are women. And then we also offer, uh, we have a award-winning student newspaper, the Daily O Collegian. And so this gives students another outlet to get print and online uh, experience.